Now, Charles Gedenji, that's President William Ruto's nominee for Council General to the Democratic Republic of Congo, and he has been rejected by the National Assembly's Defense, Intelligence and Foreign Relations Committee. In its report table before the House today, the committee approved all the other nominees. Gedenji stunned Kenyans after telling the vetting committee that a country's gross domestic product, GDP, equates to its total population. KTN's political affairs reporter Daniel Karioki has more on that report. It's at the Defense, Intelligence and Foreign Relations Committee of the National Assembly to defend his nomination to DRC. Hi, Charles Gidenji Kailo. Questions asked by committee members, leaving Charles Gidenji sweating. For instance, the question on gross domestic product, GDP. What your understanding of the GDP is? Uh, the, the growth for uh, the, the, the current population and uh, the, the escalation of the, the population of that country. GDP generally is the population of a country. Fair enough. Gedenji hopeful of going past the hurdles to secure the position, but Tuesday, the committee rejected his nomination. That rejects the appointment of Mr. Charles Gedenji Keiru as Council General Goma Democratic Republic of Congo. The MPs had questioned the nominee academic papers. Gedenji admitted he had not advanced his education, although he had a certificate in business management and a driving course. This was also featured in the final report. How, how, how on earth would you be uh, able to uh, carry out this diplomatic um, uh, responsibility given your own limitation? in terms of education and experience. I believe once approved by this committee, I'll be able to go back to school, basically learn the, the foreign affairs. These are foreign affairs academy. Where I'll be able to go through and learn more as far as this position is concerned. Consular general appointees require fundamental economic knowledge crucial for representing Kenyan commercial interest in the state dispatched. And three results that henceforth consuls generals should undergo vetting after their nomination by appointing authority and that the appointing authority recalls the serving consuls general not vetted for the vetting and approval by the National Assembly. Other nominees await House approval after the committee approved them. Daniel Karioki, KTN News.